YouTube. Uh, I've got a, well, it's meant to be an unboxing video. Um, I ordered some stuff from Exo Factory. Um, quite a while ago, actually. Um, I ordered a pair of L3. Oh, off the top of my head. What is it? I want to say Pisto Spilota Genensis, but I'm not sure if I'm getting that confused. Let me have a look. Um, oh no, that is it. Pisto Spilota Genensis. I have one here already. So I ordered a pair of L3 Pisto Spilota Genensis. I've already got one, but I wanted to make sure I had a male and female. Um, I ordered a set of five level three Ron Madeira species. Let me just find them um, online. Um, it wasn't. Oh, it was a. Uh, it was Ron Madeira Megara or Megara. I'm not sure exactly how to um, pronounce that, but they're one of the large ones. Um, and I also ordered a pair of. Let me find them. And these are really amazing. And I'm not even sure how parablemphoresis, parablemphoresis, cooley, kahooley. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, they're all on Exo Factory. Um, I ordered a pair of those. Now they're the most expensive premances I've ever bought um, by a long shot. A lot more expensive than Devil's Flamances. They're about 60, 70 euros per nymph. Um, Obviously, devil's flowers are expensive. You're looking at 15, 20 dollars, uh, 15, 20 euros. Um, so about 12, 15 pounds. Um, they look absolutely stunning. I can't find any information on them, um, so I'm gonna have to really just use what I've got. And if I can breed them, as far as I'm aware, I may be the first person in the UK to have some. Um, well, I may be one of the first people currently. Anyway, I've got, I've got what they sent me here. Um, so first things first, um, it was packaged fine, uh, like in, in terms of, um, you know, it's all sealed up, it was covered in, uh, actually stop, let me start again. Um, I would show you the unboxing video, um, however I was at work today and my other half got the parcel, Cara, and she obviously didn't want to leave them in the parcel so she actually opened it up and separated them all out into separate boxes and stuff, she actually did that without saying to me which is bloody lovely of her, um, it's, you know, she's pretty much the best, um, I mean, who else would do that? She's the bomb! She's the bomb! She's the bomb! Um, but, yeah, so let me show you what I got. So, first of all, well, you can wait. First of all, I will be rehousing these. First of all, this is the pair of Pisto Spilota Genensis. Um, they're a decent size. Um, they're doing fine. So these are Mega Mantises. These get absolutely huge. In mass, I think they're the largest mantis you can get. Um, they've come fine. Uh, i got no complaints with that a pair of them. Come in separate little containers, all packaged fine. Air holes. Um, paper in there to keep it humid. Brilliant, happy days. Um, oh god. You may notice in the background there's flies everywhere. I accidentally released about 50 flies in here, um, which is chaos, but anyway, and it's hot in here. Uh, second of all, I've got these parabola... the expensive ones. Um, and these look absolutely stunning. I'm going to do a separate video on these, like a proper decent one. Let me just get rid of this fly. I've seen to have half a bazillion flies. Bazillion flies, flies everywhere, but not a fly to drink. Wow. These really are stunning. They really are cool, and when they're adults, they look they look kind of scary, but they're a really cool looking mantis. So I'm gonna have to look up 
how to, I'm going to have to work out how to look after these, I'll sort of, uh, they're an Asian mantis, so presumably it'll be similar, it'll be similar to the flower mantises, hopefully it's not too much of an issue, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's hope, let's hope that they're, uh, they do well, because they're the most expensive mantis I've got, so I really do need to take care of these, I've got a male and a female, I think this is the female, go on, go back into the tub for now, So let's pop these, um, the mail um, Then they sent me this large box. Um, XA Factory are renowned for this. They'll send lots of Premances in the same box, which I personally don't like. Um, because whilst they're in the box, obviously it's dark and it's fine. But the second you open the box, what happens is... They go, well, I haven't eaten for three days, so let's all eat each other. Um, big issue. That's the only, that's my, that's my big qualm with uh, Exo Factory. But, this is, on the top, this is all extras. H. Maju, M-A-J-U, which presumably is Herodula Majescula. Um, and they look like Herodula Majescula. Um, so actually, I'll write this in now. These are just tiny little nymphs. Um... Kara's packaged these all up perfect for me. Let's just write these in just H dot um, trusty uh, marker H dot um, if I don't write on the tops of all of the boxes I'll be infinite, infinitely confused. Dot, um, H dot um, and I can go through these a little bit better. And they sent me one, two, three, four, four. They sent me five of these. Completely for free. I guess I'm a fairly good customer of theirs, so that makes sense. Um, well, you know, it's nice of them. Lovely of Exo Factory. Um, let me get back to... Then they sent me for free again. This is another one for free. Uh, Camellio Mantis. I presume it, it's in the same thing. I said H. Majestula plus Camellio Mantis, which presumably must be these. And um, they're little black nymphs at the moment. Um, but a lot of them, if you've kept Premantis, you'll know when they're nymphs like L1, they look, you know, a set colour like the um, Cribwater Gematus. They look like um, they look like little wood ants. And then I think that's his a uh, I guess a, a, a mechanism to keep them safe when they're young. Um, so hopefully these will, yeah, these will grow in something spectacular. This is something I've never seen before. I've got the photo here on my computer. So. Uh, that's what they look like. Big old leaf looking things. Um, and that's one I have never owned. So that's great. Really great. Thank you, Exo Factory. Then they sent me this, which is Maybe a little orchid mantis, a little orchid nymph. Um, it's too young to tell male or female yet. But there you go, that little fella. Um, as you know, I'll be breeding some of these soon. I keep saying I'll be breeding them, I'm just waiting on my female to lay oof. Um, but yeah, you know, that's a really nice freebie because they're very expensive, these. Um, for what they are, you know, for the nymphs, compared to some of the others, they're quite a lot more expensive. They're not, they're not crazy expensive. Um, as you know, orchid mantises are not my favourite. Personally, I have a bit of an issue with orchid mantises. Um, I think they put a bit of a bad name on keeping prayer mantises. Um, but we can talk about that another time. Um, now, this is my qualm. I did not get my Romadera species. Nothing was mentioned. Presumably, it's just a bit of a mess up at the um, at the company. Um, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be cheeky. They sent me a lot of extra stuff, so I've sent them a message saying uh, basically thank you for all the extras. However, uh, are my Rombadera species coming as a separate package, or uh, what's going on with those, or have they been misplaced? And so I'm basically just waiting for a reply from that. Um, 
aside from that, yeah, Exo Factory are. I don't know. They're 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 good for finding odd, weird things, things you I don't seem to be able to find in this country. Um, but you got to deal with their funny postage. Sometimes it's in the post for quite long, so I try and steer away from ordering from them too often. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll give you some close up close up videos of some of these guys, and then I'll uh, then I'll be off. Um, hopefully you will like it. Well, I'll just give you the close ups of. Um, oh, I'm never going to be able to pronounce that name. Cooley, something Cooley. I'll give you close ups of those. I'll give you some close ups, and then that'll be the end of this video. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. Toodaloo, gang.